Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Gooden. I am a pediatric anesthesiologist and associate professor of anesthesiology and pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Today we're going to discuss a recent intubation of a 13-month-old, 11-kilogram male who presented for inguinal hernia repair under general anesthesia. Physical exam suggested a normal airway, and we used the GlideScope Cobalt AVL with a number two stat. In some cases, placing the patient in a sniffing position may improve the view. Using a shoulder roll is another option that can help, particularly for neonates and infants. To achieve the best view with the GlideScope, you'll want to choose a blade size based on the weight of the patient. Note the long and floppy epiglottis, the omega shape, and the prominent arytenoids. This is what we've come to describe as normal anatomical structure in a patient of this age. We scissor open the mouth and do a midline insertion with the laryngoscope. No need to sweep the tongue. You'll also notice that there's less lifting force required with the GlideScope compared to direct laryngoscopy. So here are some tips that I would like to share for successful use of the GlideScope Pediatric Video Laryngoscope. Insert the blade midline. Do not sweep the tongue. Avoid going too deep with the blade as this can worsen the view. Use a semi-rigid stylet to shape the endotracheal tube. Insert the endotracheal tube parallel to the blade, enabling successful placement into the glottis. And of course, practice is important. And it's a good idea to start with a normal pediatric airway.